I was worried that this was going to have to come with a graphic warning, but it's all right. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, for my returning subscribers, hi guys, how are you guys doing? I don't know about you, but OMG, it is fucking hot in London. I'm telling you, I'm dying. I complain a lot about the heat because mm, it's 35 degrees. Today is Friday the 31st of July and shit me, it's, it's like the hottest day of the year so far. <sighs> so if you're new here, hello, my name is India. I run British Beauty by India here on YouTube. If you guys like what you see today, come join the family, subscribe, click that button below. Rolling on from if you're new here. So. Obviously I run this channel, but I'm also a dealer. I work in a casino and the reason I'm mentioning that is because I want to apologize to you all about my scattiness today because I know the last video I was scatty, but today I'm feeling scatty again because, like I said, it's Friday 31st of July. Tomorrow is the 1st of August. We were supposed to open tomorrow. I was supposed to go back to work tomorrow. A lot of us were casino workers. I think it's like bowling alleys, beauty shops, which I feel like that's an industry that's been hit fucking hard. And I'm not even sure why, but I'm not getting into the politics of it. I'm not a politician. Not yet anyway. So good old Boris Johnson, love you by the way. Okay, that was sarcasm at its finest. Has come out today and said, yeah, by the way, no, you guys are opening for at least two weeks. Great. Thanks, mate. That's my livelihood. Furlough's a bitch. So the reason for my scattiness is because I'm basically fucking pissed off. The reason for today's video is I just feel like I haven't been wearing any makeup like through lockdown. I just I'm so thankful because like all of a sudden I feel really really comfortable in my own skin again like I've had like we go ups and downs and it's basically obviously all to do with perception. Like I keep seeing myself like this so I'm used to myself like this so I don't want to wear makeup because I'm not used to myself wearing makeup anymore. Anyway. It's all tricks of the brain, people. It's all tricks of the brain. So I thought I would do this video today because obviously now that we've got to wear masks and things like that, I feel like makeup is really just taking us like a back seat at the moment because it's summer and lockdown. Like who gives a shit, right? <laughs> masks. Who wants to be washing foundation off their masks every freaking night? I don't. Anyway, so obviously I've called it model hacks. And that's because it is. These are OG model hacks that I used to do a very, very long time ago. Now, I appreciate I haven't really talked about my modelling days that much on this channel. And the reason being is that it was like well over a decade. And if I think back to that time, it's like it feels like I'm thinking about someone else that's that long ago. I'm very thankful for that time in my life. I genuinely feel like it's moulded me into the person I am today. But it's also quite irrelevant. Like is super relevant to my life right now. I could not be further from it. Like my life is very different. I was a model from about 12. I think I signed for my first agency about 12 years old. And then I officially, officially left the industry when I was 21. I left the agency I was with when I was 21. So I have many, many years experience. But then obviously throughout the years up being till like maybe just before I fell pregnant, I have still did bits and bobs for people. You know, you just get to know people and, you know, whether it's a bump in a pay rise or a favor or, you know, free freaking haircut, whatever. I have continued to do things, but not at like a professional level, like no agencies. But it is one of the, oh God, the best times of my life. I mean, I am so thankful for the experiences it has given me. I mean, like a lot of people can't sit here and tell you guys the stories I can tell and I am so thankful for that because I'm an actual entertainer so story time for me is always a very natural thing to do. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It's pretty basic to be honest with you but I think like the main object of this video is to try and give you guys the confidence a lot of us need to just feel comfortable in our own skin. But like I said earlier, it genuinely it is perception. It's all to do with how you see yourself. So going forward from this and then afterwards like please feel free to come find me on instagram it's this is india madeline now obviously you can comment but i would prefer like if you really do have a serious issue still after watching this and be like really can't go out without makeup like come find me i've been there done that got the t-shirt jumper hat scarf so i am very well aware of your situation that you're in and it has taken me years to get to this point <laughs> I'm gonna get on with the video, okay? Just be like, India, shut up, move on. So I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna move on. But before I go, you guys are the only things that matter, yeah? You, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, love yourselves, okay? Treat yourself like, you know, your favorite person in the world. Because you should be your favorite person in the world. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, that's it, bye. <laughs> A huge mug of coffee to help me through this. This is what I look like in the mornings. Today actually is not too bad. 
I was worried that this was going to have to come with a graphic warning, but it's all right. So, I haven't done anything. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> my hair is dirty, everything is bleh. So, do you wanna to come to my bathroom? Voila, my bathroom. This is the real deal. This is what my face looks like without all the lights. So, first thing I want to do is go in with a hydrating cleanser. <laughs> This is my newfound love. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. This doesn't foam, I put it straight onto dry skin. If you're interested why, I will link a video up here for you guys, but I always, always go in on dry skin. Now this is just gonna take off everything that I put on last night and we will get to that in a minute. So if you're new here, this is a microfiber towel. <laughs> if you're not, you're returning a subscriber. I'm really sorry I'm speaking about my microfiber towels yet again. But what can I say? I take everything off with a microfiber towel. I will never use literally anything else. It's always a flannel or this. For this bit, when I go in and kind of like tap my face dry, I will use hotter water just to get my skin ready to absorb. I'm now gonna go in with this, which is a banging, banging moisturizing mask. This is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I'm sure you've all heard of it. I love, love, love letting this like soak in, making my skin all nice and plump while I drink my coffee and just get on with morning chores. Adult life. All right, I'll give this a good slathering. So the other thing, which I'll probably speak about in multiple videos now, if you watched my last video, I'll link it up here because I'm such a believer in it. The one about masks, I explained that I had bought this. This is the Aqua for Soothing Skin Balm. I don't know where this has been my entire life, but this is amazing on the face, by the way. It's like an overnight mask. It's absolutely brilliant, right? Considering the price point. But this on lips, is one of like the best lip balmy lip masks I have ever found. Like while I'm getting ready in the mornings and like letting everything sink in and overnight, I wake up with the nicest, plumpest, moisturized lips. All right, back to the filming room, brother's bedroom. So I'm gonna to talk to you while this all sets in about basically the night before because oh, the night before is so, so important. Like if you have a shit night's sleep and you go out and you get pissed, you're not gonna look good the next day. Like, let's just be real. So if you guys are like doing castings or if you've got something, if you're like a normal person like I am and you've got something going on, like be realistic, try and help yourself out by giving yourself like a good night's sleep. Like. I feel like I shouldn't even say that because it's like this, the most obvious part, but I'm just gonna say it. I've got a list, okay? I'm working from a list. It's on the list. It's my bullet point. I'm gonna say it. Secondly, I always treat my hair like overnight. I haven't done today because I was not planning today at all. I was, my plans have completely changed as of this morning. So I wasn't going to film today. So I was like, I don't care, dirty hair. But what I would do is if I was doing something tomorrow, for example, I would have washed my hair, like properly treated it, given it a good like blue shampoo, 20 minute treatment to get all the brassiness out. Then I would have towel dried it and I would have literally put in like a deep conditioner or a mask or whatever and just slept in it and then washed it off the next day. On to the most important part, cause let's, let's just be real, our faces. What you do the night before will determine how good your skin will look the next day. And I mean what you put on it, not if you go out and get smashed, like it's too obvious. I will show you three products that I use regularly, bar my benzoyl peroxide, but I'm trying not to use that at the moment because my skin's tad sensitive. Now the one that I specifically used last night, I use this maybe three times a week, if not more. I put this on and my face is utterly amazing in the morning. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so this is the Paula's Choice Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment. Now this is 10% AHA, which is glycolic acid. Now, if you're interested in acids, I'm gonna link a video up here, cause I know acids can be a lot. This is actually discontinued, but they have replaced it with something very similar, but it just now comes with like a pipette and it's more like a serum instead of like, this is a toner. You put it on a cotton pad and just put it over your face. That's what I do. This is amazing. And I've been using this kind of strength for absolutely years. So this does not irritate my skin at all but if you're new please go in with a less percentage i.e like a maybe a pixie glow or alpha h uh, liquid gold is brilliant i think that's maybe like a five percent don't quote me i don't know but i know it's not ten percent anyway it's a lot lower the next thing that i use if i'm not using that i will use this this is the rodeal dragon's blood hyaluronic mask now i know this is a very expensive product but this shit is freaking amazing i love this i've been using the range for years this has stayed with me forever 
it's so beautiful, it's so moisturising, it's so plumping. You cannot get a better overnight mask in my opinion. So the next product I've been using in the last week, which I just think is fantastic. This, I know I just said it a couple of minutes ago, but whatever. This is the Aquaphor Soothing Skin Balm. Now this, if you're on a budget, is a banging overnight mask. Like it's so good for an overnight mask. You can never, by the way, wear this during the day. It's too thick, it's too greasy. Overnight mask, hello. It's not as plumping, but it's definitely as moisturizing. And this is obviously maybe like a tenth of the price of that. Like it's cheap. Best part is it's not broken me out because I know it's a very thick balm, but it's my skin has not broken out at all with it. Let's round it off by saying if you're on a budget, this is a banging, 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 banging overnight mask. If you've got dry cracked skin, can't go wrong with that, I'm telling you. So the minute you get up, I know this is gonna sound really, really stupid, but it's just science. Overnight while we sleep, our bodies seriously dehydrate, including our brain. So the best thing you can do for your bodies and our brains and like for the rest of the day is to, the minute you get up, is to drink as much water as you can. Now I always have water beside my bed, like it gives me anxiety not to. I always have a huge water beside my bed that I'll drink during the night anyway. But the one thing I will do, how you got out of bed, I'll just be sitting there drinking, drinking, drinking my water. Even if I'm not thirsty, I'll drink it because I know my body's dehydrated. Best thing you can do is probably drink hot water with lemon if you can stomach it. I can't drink hot water and lemon it just makes me feel when I get up and have my coffee because I will have coffee I'm not like the most healthiest person in the world I have to have coffee I would die but I will always have like a big glass of water with lemon in it I'm sorry I know you've heard it all before and I'm definitely sounding like my own mother I have to say one thing because obviously I've called this video like model hacks because this is like OG shit you're sitting there and you're thinking yeah but like all water retention is real a lot of girls won't drink or eat for like, 12 hours before their photo shoot you have to understand like one thing like the one thing I've realized in my way past my modeling days is that like, it's a very small part of your life unless you do really well which again is a very small percentage of people like Come on, let's be real. Do we really want to sit here killing ourselves and, you know, really quite damaging our bodies for, what, a couple of grand, you know, a lifestyle that we live for maybe 15 years at the most if we're really lucky? But the thing is, it's the truth is, it's the same for every job. Like, just don't kill yourself for a job that will replace you like this. They don't give a shit about you. They <laughs> just don't. I'm sorry. Unless you're sitting there and you're like, no, my work does. Like, good for you. Good for you. But majority of places is capitalist country. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We're workers, we're ants. They don't care. There's how many girls are gonna replace me? I could walk out of my job tomorrow and they'll have five, ten girls that take my position. They don't care. And it's the same with modeling. How many girls do you think are lined up behind you to take your position on the books or for a photo shoot? Don't be silly. Look after yourselves, you know? Right, so, <clears throat> I think I've sat here enough, sweated enough, and uh, spoken enough. Um, and yeah, should we get on to the actual real deal, making this look better? I'm gonna go for a shower. I'm not gonna take you with me because that is, this is just not the right video platform for this. And I definitely do not get paid enough for that kind of shit. So, welcome to my bathroom again. Okay, I know I said goodbye, but I just realized like, I didn't give you any explanation about what I'm about to do. I leave my skin, whatever's on my skin, I do not deal with it in the shower. Like, I have hot showers, I'm actually not today because it's so hot, but majority of the time I have a very hot shower, it's like one of the nine rings of hell. I'm showered, I'm clean, and oh, a cold shower, oh, that was just what I needed. Right, so I'm gonna get onto my face. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much lost all that product because I washed my hair. I'm gonna give myself like a little good exfoliation because I always feel like after I use a good chemical exfoliation and then I'm going with the moisture, it really loosens that dead skin. So I like to go in with a little bit of a physical, but I mean a little bit, because obviously it's already exfoliating with the acid. So, lightly, gently, just to get it off. You don't want to irritate your skin. This is my little exfoliating mitt. This is just like the boots one. I can never find them. I think everyone has these, clearly, because they're always sold out. One of my favorite cleansers is obviously, this is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser. This is almost like some acid in it, but chill, because it's only like 0.5%. It's really, really low. Now, at this point, you guys can do kind of like whatever your kind of main skincare routine is. Like, you know, I like to facial cup, and I like to shave my face, or whatever like that, but I kind of recently did that, so I don't need to do that again. So you need to do you. But if you guys don't know what facial shaving is, I'll put a blink up here because it's about to change your world. I love facial shaving, and no, it does not come back darker or coarser or anything else. It's nothing like that. 
Okay, so that's it for my bathroom. Let's say goodbye bathroom. I'm gonna go back in and we're gonna do all my skincare products and everything like that in the other room. This is like the next most important step you guys can do. After having a wash, cleaning your face and things like this. Obviously, it is skincare. Like I say in most of my videos, you definitely do not have to follow my exact products, but I would suggest following my instructions. Um, and obviously ingredients, like come on, there's a reason why I'm showing you kind of these products and it's not the products, it's what they have in them. First up, toning. Now, depending on your skin type, this is where your toner is important. I am one of those people that I, I, I do like a good toner, whether it's glycolic, salicylic, pyrolonic, moisturizing, whatever. You do you. My toner of choice is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Now, this is 5% glycolic acid. I think it's really beautiful. It makes my skin really nice and glowy. Give that a good going over. Once that is all done, your serums. The only serums really I use during the day is a hyaluronic acid. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite so I'm not sure I've shown this to you at all, which I'm not entirely sure why. You know I love my Alpha H one, but basically it's run out. I use this majority at night, and then I'll use my Alpha H during the day. So anyway, this is the Hado Labo Tokyo Lotion Number no. 1 Super Hydrator, and it's a super hyaluronic acid. This shit is banging. You can get it on Amazon, and I think that's the only where you can get it in Amazon. Anyway, it's a brilliant hyaluronic acid. It's so good, and it's so cheap. I think it's like $12.99. The reason I'm saying hyaluronic acid is because obviously it's a super hydrator, right? So it's gonna give your skin that moisture it needs for the day. And then it's also going to plump that skin up, i.e. plumping out fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> Let's be real. Right, so after that, again, this is kind of dependent on your skin, but I go in with a really, really super moisturizing moisturizer, even in the summer. If you're interested in my favorite moisturizers, I'm gonna link a video up here where I go more in depth about my moisturizers because I'm a bit of a moisturizing addict. The one that I love, the most, which is my number one. This is Drunk Elephant and it is the La Retro Whipped Cream. Love this shit. One little pump and you're good to go. Oh, God. Love this moisturizer. It is amazing. Next up is one of my new found things. This is not makeup. This is the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Anti Pollution Sunshine Drops. Now, this just gives the skin the most beautiful glow, most beautiful warmth. It just kind of warms your skin up and it looks like. You're nice and bronzy, not too crazy, obviously, because then you're just gonna look weird from the rest of your skin. I use like two squirts of it because that just works for me and my skin, but obviously you do not have to go in with that much product. It's up to you and how kind of bronzed you want to be, I guess. But, oh, just it gives that lovely tint of kind of sun-kissed, bronziness, beautiful, ugh, like, hello, sunshine. Now, I'm not being funny, okay? I'm being very serious now. No jokes, no, well, aside. SPF, yeah? Seriously, 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 no matter what time of year it is, you always need to go in with an SPF. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid, and it is SPF 50. Look something like this. This isn't a moisturizer and an SPF, by the way, but it's not moisturizing personally enough for me just to be used alone. Dollop, dollop, dollop. Dollop, dollop, dollop. Last up, obviously, lip balm. My favorite, favorite lip balm has always been this one. This is the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. I love this lip balm. It's one of the best, but it is thick. Okay, that is it for skincare. The reason I have focused so much on like moisture and plumping is because I just think that personally makes everyone's skin look beautiful. Now, if you really are seriously sitting there going, no, I can't, I can't just put all that on and like I would be a bit greasy mess, which is cool, that's fine. That's your skin. One of the tricks I learned back in the day is I used to have powder, like powder's just not the same as it was back then, it's just not. But I used to use a tiny bit of powder, like here, here, and here. I'd always leave these bits because then that would be nice and glowy and whatever. But so I didn't look a huge greasy mess, I would just use a very little amount of translucent powder. That's fine. Does that count as makeup? No. Anyway, the other tip that I used to do. Now, what oil did I used to use? <laughs> it was a very long time ago. Anyway, so mm, today. <laughs> I am going to be using the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil. Now, you do not have to do this if you've got really super oily skin, but this is just a little trick that I love. So, literally taking the tiniest little dot on my hand, I'm literally just going to put it here. So, it's 
so it gives like that really beautiful natural highlight. Oh, I love it. Now I'm not going to hit my forehead because I just think like that's just too beamy. That is it. Oh, I love this trick. I used to keep the oil in my bag and before I went in, quickly mattify this bit and then just dot the oil there, there and there and just be like... This is my favourite part. This, I'm telling you, will change your world forever. So, the reason it's wet and I've got a dish towel is that I always wash my ice roller because I just don't want my whatever's in my freezer all over my face, basically. This is genius. Now, back in the day, obviously, we didn't have ice rollers. I don't even think they existed back then. So, if it was really bad, I'd use like a sandwich bag of ice and I would literally just put that over my face and cool it down and like depuff it. Or I would wash my face and then go in with a really cold flannel and just hold the cold flannel on, dependent on like puffiness of the face. Or what I would do if it was like just my eyes, I'd have like a glass of really cold water and I would put a spoon in it, let it sit there, and then I'd go in with a spoon under the eyes and just depuff the ice. But now you don't have to do that. That kind of weird shit because we have this and we've invented an ice roller anyway i'm telling you oh i know it's a really fucking hot day as well so this is just amazing i don't know about you but like when i wake up i always look like i've woken up i just do right and i like to think that's like the majority of people i always have like pillow face it can be extreme or it can be a little but it's always there i kid you not i'll wash my face i will sit there and i will roll this on my face in like 10 minutes i will look like i haven't just woken up like it gets rid of that puffiness like a dream and it's the trick to ice rolling is like basically you just roll up so the skin gets all nice and tight oh i love it i love it i love it now for some extras. So I've already gone through the main kind of extras, which is obviously the bronzing drops, that's an extra. Ugh, oil, that's an extra. And obviously translucent powder is an extra. But before I continue, I just wanna say, now if you're a model and you're watching this, no matter how you feel about your skin, no matter how you see yourself in that mirror, do not wear any makeup. Just don't do it, because number one, they'll ask you to remove it. Secondly, they'll get irritated by the fact that they've had to ask you to remove it because you've been told specifically don't wear any makeup. Like you just don't wear makeup to castings, you just don't. Now, after I've said that, obviously rules are meant to be broken to a certain extent. Now, obviously if you've got like a massive of spot or you've had a breakout spot concealing is fine because you're not changing the way you've looked you're just showing them what you look like without that right so spot concealing is fine but when i say spot concealing i literally mean the tiniest bit of concealer over the spot to hide that redness no under eyes no nothing just just look like you right <laughs> Now the other extra is eyebrows. Now if you've got truly, completely unruly eyebrows, just get a little spoolie, sort them out, fluff them up, whatever your deal is with eyebrows. Now if they're really cray cray, obviously a little bit of soap or clear brow gel is fine. But no color, do not change the color of your eyebrows because obviously like, it's like a main thing that they need to be able to see. See, fluff those bad boys up. One of the best tricks, and I always used to do this, I always had a pair of eyelash curlers in my bag because it just opens your eyes up, it's not makeup. It just gives that kind of nice bright eyed look. I don't feel like we use eyelash colours anymore. Do we use eyelash colours anymore? I still use eyelash colours. I think they're banging. They're the best invention ever. Just look, see, like it's such a difference. Like look at that. Seriously, it's such a small thing and it's just, Get yourself a good pair of eyelash curlers, okay? That is it for extras. Now, obviously hair. So, I leave my hair like this. I leave my hair to naturally dry. Now, for models, the best advice I can give you is let your hair be natural. So, whether you've got straight hair, have straight hair. If you've got curly hair, have curly hair. Like, just be natural. Best advice. And this is models, but it kind of counts for us too, like, depending on what you kind of think. I always would walk into a casting with my hair tied really tight. I would put my hair in such a tight pony, because they're going to ask you to take it down, because they need to see your hair, so don't worry about a headache. Tighter the better, okay? Tighter the better. So, you really tight that hair, okay? I always naturally have my ponies like this. Don't do that because it changes the shape of your hair. You have your hair at the back, okay? Now, the reason for a really tight pony, this pull or angles, yeah? It's like the, one of the best first impressions you can do is you're just like, this is my face, this is it. Like, there's no distractions, no hair, no sunglasses, no glasses, just okay? Literally to this day, 
I will still do a really tight pony because I just think it just changes. It just changes the way my face looks. It just does. It is like literally, I think that is the best trick in the book. That is it. This is the finishing touch. I have nothing on my face and I'm happy. I look in the mirror and I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm happy to walk out like this. I feel okay. I feel good. So that is it for today's video. Now, I want to stress one thing before I go. I appreciate that I've said like this video is like model hacks, whatever, whatever. But obviously I wanted to make it as relevant to the, the rest of us normal people as, as I can. And I think I have succeeded in that because truthfully, this is what I do every day. Now, especially with lockdown, I literally don't wear makeup anymore. Don't know what it is. <laughs> I've forgotten. If you're sitting there and you're thinking, no, I really, I just, I don't feel comfortable enough going out without makeup on. I've been there, done that. We can have a conversation like, oh, I feel like I have so much experience with this situation. It's, it's, anyway. <laughs> Most importantly, please just come find me. My Instagram is this is India Madeline. I would prefer like a direct conversation. Obviously, feel free to like leave comments and stuff, but I just feel like if, if you want to have a chat with me, oh my God, come um, find me slide into my dms like i'm more than happy to have a conversation with you guys about this because <sighs> i cannot tell you how important it is just to love yourself fuck makeup basically <laughs> you're more important than that you're better than that and oh my god everything else so that is it from me today if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up most importantly if you've definitely liked what you've seen today please come and subscribe join our family now i wish you guys health and happiness and i'm sending you guys love wherever you are in the world and i will see you guys next time.